Okay, room members, let's review the letter today. There was two ideas out of the letter, and there was many, but here's just two of the ideas out of the letter today. WLT was on the 60-minute base list on the letter today. You can see down here in the lower left, um, once we get over 59.58, as, as I've gone over the 60-minute base, there was a base here, but then you had to get over this over on this day on the three on the three five. Once it got over 59.58, we looked for an entry, any five-minute pullback. So here, let's go to the five-minute chart. The first bar of the day goes to 59.73, so we, we do trigger on the first bar today. So now we just simply look for a five-minute pullback. Here's the start of a pullback. If this triggers, since it does have a bottoming tail, um, you can play this over 60.47. Your stop would be under 30.60.10. Uh, okay, the trigger occurs, and now, now we're in. Now, as it starts to move up, I'm looking for at least three R's on the first target. And we are at three R's now. There's a 39 cent stop at three R's um, on that particular target. We'd already be there. So now I'm just looking for any kind of failure to get out. Now the five minute buy setup is triggering here. If this fails under 6189, I'm at a half. And there it fails right there. I'm at a half of the position. I'm only the other half to the end of the day or to break even, uh, uh, whichever comes first. Makes a double bottom here. moves back around, starts coming back up again, drops again, and then it finishes strong into the close, closing at 62.26. So on the back half, you could have made 4.5 R's, the front half 3.6 R's. Overall, it was another great trade that you could have done right off this letter. Another one that w was in the letter today was PPO, and let's put up PPO. And what I liked about it was a 60-minute base on the day before. Once it gets over 36.72, I'm looking for an entry. So let's go back to the five-minute chart here and see what happens. Now, initially, we go underneath this base, and we go all the way down to 36.21, and now we start to move back. Again, I'm looking for a move above 36.72, and right here, we get it right there on this bar. So now I'm looking for a five-minute pullback. Get a uh, uh, topping tail, red bar. I'd like to see some kind of a bottoming tail. Okay, I'm not getting a bottoming tail here, but it's at the rising uh, MAs. If it does trigger here, I would take this entry. And there it triggers. Uh, entry 36.82, stop under 36.60. Starts to move up. Now, in this particular one, Uh, I'm looking for at least three R's on the first part. And we make a lower high here, still not getting it yet. Overall, on the daily chart, uh, on the 60-minute on the chart here, I think we have void all the way up to maybe $40. So there's plenty of void here. So I don't want to sell it too soon. Comes in again. And this is one uh, getting out at 37.28. Now on this one, you end up making 1.9 Rs. You could have made a little bit more if you caught near the high of the day, but again, I was giving myself a chance on this one, giving yourself a chance to, to make the overall target. Another way, again, a second one in the letter that you could have played. Now these are, these are uh, ideas we have in letter every day. I hope you guys come to firstflightroom.com um, anyone who's not subscribing to the letter and do subscribe to it and look at it every day because they, these are the type of things that are in there every day that can definitely make a difference in your trading. That's it for now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Trade well.